Hosanna! Hosanna in the highest! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And happy Palm Sunday to you. Today's a big day, and every day kind of feels like the same, so I thought I'd go big. I brought out all of my green. I'm wearing palms. I've got green back there. Uh, I'm not even a Ducks fan, and somehow I have a six-foot Ducks helmet back there. That's how far I'm willing to go for you guys. Uh, so you can go big, too. You can make your own palms. There's a video that Carrie made that's on Bethlehem's YouTube page, just down below this one, that can tell you exactly how to do this. Or, there's another way you can get your own palm. You can also go grab a branch from outside, because that's what they would have done in Jesus' day. And you can reach in and try and pull one, but I find that a little hard. So you can ask your parents, and they might be able to use some shears to cut it for you. And then, you can wave it around and shout, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Thanks, outside Eric. Hosanna, you might be wondering, means save us. It means help. And we all could use a little help right now. So saying Hosanna makes a lot of sense. Last year, I went to church and I waved my palms back and forth and I led all of you kids in the processional, we sang an amazing Hosanna song, and we had extra leftover palms. And so then I went to the Moda Center for the Blazers playoff game, and I brought my palms with me. I brought them to the other fans, they were cheering as well. It was fantastic. I even gave a two year old a palm and he waved it around. Yeah, that was pretty cute, wasn't it? And, uh, Actually, palms are pretty amazing ways to cheer on your team. And uh, actually, if you have two of them, you've got pom-poms, if you will. So my expectation for this year was for the Blazers to make the playoffs. But the reality is, there's no professional basketball. There's no NBA right now. And my expectation was that we'd be at church praising God, waving our palms together today. But instead, we're at home. And that's... The reality. Expectation is what we want to have happen. Reality is what actually happens. Sometimes they're the same. Sometimes they're different. And Palm Sunday is all about expectations. When Jesus came into Jerusalem riding on a donkey, the people expected him to be the king of Israel. And so they waved their palms back and forth and they got all excited and they were so happy to see him. But by the end of the week, Jesus was dead. He'd been placed on a cross. And so the reality looked very sad. And so the people didn't have any expectations for Jesus anymore. But we all know what happens next Sunday. It's Easter. Jesus rises from the dead and he becomes our king. But not the king of Israel, not the king of Jerusalem. He becomes the king of the world, the king of heaven, the king of forever. Ever. So the expectation was earthly king, Jesus had, and God had something so much bigger and better in mind. And maybe that's true for our expectations for Palm Sunday as well. We expected to be at church. And we thought that we'd be parading around the sanctuary. But instead, we're in our homes. But we can still praise God, right? And we can actually still go outside of our house, if your parents let you, and the weather's nice enough, and praise God with our palms, just like this. Hosanna! Hosanna in the highest heaven. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And we can even go all the way around the neighborhood doing the exact same thing. Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Or maybe you can do it inside of your house. Your parents would probably love that. In fact, that's what the, the Bowers did. Uh, watch this video. Hosanna! Hosanna! Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! This Palm Sunday, our expectation was to be at church. But our reality is, we're at home. And maybe that's better. Because now, we get to shout Hosannas with our family and church comes home with us. Let's say it together. Hosanna! Hosanna in the highest heaven. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
one more time. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest heaven. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And then put your palms down so we can put our palms together and repeat after me. Dear God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, help me to praise you today, to know that you're my King. You're stronger than death. You're bigger than my expectations. And you are the ultimate reality. And all God's people said, Amen.